hello guys and welcome to a brand new video today i'm here with rupan the third part one episode number 16 and 17 reaction all right the previous episode um i only reacted to one episode the previous week which was episode number 15 um we had um zenigata trying to capture rupan just like always but this time there was a little bit of a difference he was able to capture rupan but at the same time it was all within Rupan's plan. <laughs> so Rupan kind of gave, uh, you know, like Zenigata a little, uh, what can I say, like a little dream, showed him a little dream. He, you know, like that finally he captured Rupan. He was so happy, you know, like <coughs> there's like <coughs> reporters and everyone coming, just taking, uh, you know, like uh, like uh, like asking him questions and everything. Like he, he became famous for a second there. Um, and he even went to Europe for the press conference or whatever and uh, then when he's uh, taking off his plane is taking off he sees Zupan is just outside and that was like a happy dream that he had but unfortunately um, that was short-lived because Zupan was a little bit more ahead of him you know like he he made plans counteracting his plan which uh, like you know was uh, made him win again and I, I and by the end of it Rupan was the one who actually won everything he by the by the end he went and took that treasure that bust he was able to take that with him and yeah like uh, Zenigata's plan kind of failed by the end of it but yeah like nothing you can do about it this is like you know kind of normal and Zenigata is pretty much like, you know accustomed to failing I'm sure he'll like jump back up again like you know bounce back up again and just like always try to capture Rupan once again <laughs> so yeah like I'm I doubt he's going to stop he's going to give up so that was the previous episode episode number 15 so let's start with episode number 16 let's see what happens in this episode so yeah let's get started with this episode I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start <clears throat> all right here's the countdown three two one go <coughs> <coughs> Okay, let's see. Oh! Oh, it's, it's that episode. This is a new opening? Yeah, okay. I was not expecting a new opening. Wait. Master Thief. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, Zeni got this. Oh, my God. We're narrating this. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, let's see. <laughs> Weather report. Okay. Wait. Oh, signal. Jewelry snatch, Hoseki Yokodori Saksen. All right. Hmm. Three billion. Damn, that's a lot. At, like you know, at that time as well. Like three billion at that time. Okay. Is that a grenade launcher? Yeah. Like snipers and everyone's like ready. Thirty, that's a lot. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Oh, uh, because he she wants to make. She wants them to pave the way for her. I think. I'm sure he she's somewhere here. Oh my god! There you go. Speak of the devil. <laughs> It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> Yo, calm down, girl. She's gonna crash. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, Jing, and not you as well. <laughs> the game she's playing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Well played. <clears throat> Five point six million. <clears throat> yeah, it can get something a little bit more costlier, you know? <laughs> Okay, there you go. Is this the one? All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> What is that paint? Oh, it's glue. Oh my god. <laughs> well, they're stuck. How can they do it? Oh, great. Okay. All right, time to suck all of them in. <laughs> well, I'm sure that's fun. I hope there's no <coughs> alarm system or anything, you know? Like when he opens something. Okay, everything's fine. Is there something else? Um, don't be greedy. Oh, great. Yeah, don't be greedy. Oh, no. What? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, this is this is this is a problem. Oh, no.
Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh my god! <laughs> he knows it's Lupin. Zengata, uh, uh, Jigen, I, I, why isn't he coming in and warning him? Yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Where's Fujiko? I'm sure she has bailed. <laughs> wow! Look at this. This is like a... Fujiko's gone. Run, oh my god. <clears throat> oh! <coughs> oh no. Plan number two. <laughs> I'm sure Fujiko is actually waiting for them to get captured and then she's going to grab all of them and just get out. Oh my god. Uh. Oh no, what now? Oh no! Oh! <laughs> okay, nice. <laughs> the thing is that they're shooting guns at them. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, is this Fujiko? I feel like it's Fujiko. <laughs> oh no, it's it is Fujiko, I'm sure of it. <clears throat> what the <laughs> Oh my god, that's suspicious. Okay. All right. Oh no, I feel like this guy is hired by Fujiko or something. Like this is going to grab the car and just run away. Oh my, it was Fujiko herself. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, at least she's going to return the car, you know. That's something. Seaplane, three days ago. <clears throat> All right, time to grab what is rightfully ours. <laughs> uh. Well, wait, yeah, we, we have a proposal. Yep. 
अप टू यू दैट्स अ वेरी स्मॉल एयरप्लेन लाइक इट्स इट्स ओके फॉर लाइक वन पर्सन आई गेस having tea oh <laughs> yo <laughs> this this uh, oh my god she should have gotten an airplane with some guns and everything you know it's like a fancy plane she brought That's just going to just go down. Up. All right. I don't think he she has the jewels with her now. Probably just kept it somewhere. Oh my god. Well, time to jump. No, she has them with her. Oh my god. Those two briefcase. <laughs> okay, where is she? <clears throat> Is she stuck or something? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First, yeah, those cases. What? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, one left. All right. <laughs> Shrivel in the sun. Wait, what is he? Okay. <laughs> Up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Wow. Will that even work? That's so. Okay, it's taking speed now. It is slow. Over, oh my god over weight limit <laughs> great they're going to lose everything now <laughs> oh my god This is like a house in the middle of the like what a weird position Okay what is that oh my god TNT Oh Nice <laughs> They're like nope we're not paying enough for this <laughs> Where did Fujiko go She kind of jumped Hmm. 
okay there it is okay um put that back in i think okay nice all right there you go there's fujiko What is that? Wait, someone there? Zenigata is here or something? What the? Who? Who the hell are these people? Oh my god, it's Zenigata! I, oh god. Oh my god, don't shoot at police officers. You're bound to get arrested. My god. Well, that kind of works out, I guess. Yeah. Small fries. Oh no. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. It's going to zip line out. <laughs> or maybe that's just a trick. They're going that direction and Oh. Oh my god, the house itself is... <laughs> That's... Oh god. That zipline or that rope is strong. Oh no. Oh no! Yo, grab! Oh god. <clears throat> yeah, don't. <laughs> Zenigata. True to his. Oh boy. Damn. Oh no. <laughs> okay, what now? Oh no. Oh! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh! <laughs> this is like one of Zenigata's weakness. You know, he knows he cannot let them go away, so he tries to save them as well, which they take advantage of. Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, that's why. Oh, at least we got one. <laughs> Don't throw that away. <laughs> Why? You could have just, you know, like, sold it and... I don't know, like... Nah. But as he said, like, this is the great Rupan Sama. So... Okay, that's it. <laughs> 
boy another zenigata episode zenigata and rupan episode um <clears throat> okay this episode here um just like always fujiko again tries to uh, you know trick rupan here um she she i think she was actually planning in the beginning i think she was planning to just uh, use rupan to you know like pave the way for her and she was going to grab everything but since uh, in the beginning rupan was like you know what let me not you know <coughs> try to hurry because there's like 30 people over here and even though we have grenade launchers it's kind of impossible to you can take them all down so yeah let's just let us just like you know do this slow and steady but as always fujiko was just like you know prodding the whole thing after she got to know that rupan did not go and try to get uh, the jewels she's like oh like you know like um uh, <laughs> started bringing his grandfather and even like you know talking about zenigata saying how zenigata would like you know she said a lot of things there um yeah she also brought uh arsene rupan as well she's like oh yeah I'm, you're oh you're supposed to be you know when i met you before you were this daring type of a person but look at you now you know like these type of things like these type of um emotional what do you call it things that actually kind of <laughs> prick you that type of like you know words um she just said and rupan is like all right i'm going to show you what i really am about and <laughs> He just grows, goes in the jewelry shop and you know, just grabs all the jewels and <clears throat> you know what I was thinking like they're like you know they're going to get so greedy that like you know they're going to lose everything like I, I was surprised to see that they were actually able to pull everything off unless and until Fujiko interfered like um when like you know when uh, Jigen came and Jigen was like Rupan let's get out of here quickly like you know the uh, police authorities have been notified we need to get out of here as soon as possible i was thinking like you know lupan was going to because of his greed he was going to somehow slip up and zenigata was going to cap uh, would capture them turns out that did not happen zenigata came but still it was a little bit too late because uh, jigen and lupan went away <clears throat> was able to get away in time and they even kind of tricked zenigata like just like you know parked the car over there uh, it had another getaway car ready for it, it had all the jewels in, inside that and just went out, you know, light, lit some firecrackers and just ran away. Like that was like a clean getaway. And uh, I was not actually expecting that. So if Fujiko did not mess with them after that, they would have probably been able to get away with the whole loot. Like, uh, here's the thing, um, usually in these type of situations, you know, we see where um, people become a little bit greedy, you know, like try to kind of like because of their pride and everything. Like Ruban basically was doing this because of his pride. So usually we kind of see like they kind of mess up in these type of situations. And, you know, like because of their greed, uh, everything comes crashing down. That wouldn't have happened. Because they were able to get away from Zenigata and they would have been winners, you know, complete winners. Like they, they got each and every jewel in that, uh, like, you know, jewelry shop. And they would have been just like, you know, like, like swimming in money. But no, that did not happen because Fujiko was there. Fujiko all had like you know, all the preparations just planned out. Just kept like random <laughs> nails in the middle of the road and like i thought that guy who came in the tow truck he i thought he was some like you know he was someone who was hired by fujiko or something but i should have like you know thought better because i i like now i should have realized that obviously fujiko would not hire anyone because that would mean you have to give a portion of the you know like winnings or a portion of the loot to that person so I should have like guessed that that was not someone hired by Fujiko. That was Fujiko herself in, in disguise. And <clears throat> yeah, like this is this is like the thing which is very, uh, what can I say? Um, very common with Fujiko. What she actually does is she, there's like a few ways she operates. Number one, she either like, you know, lets Rupan know everything and lets Rupan do the hard job. And then in the end kind of betray her him or somehow like you know snatch the whole thing and take it away 
um, uh, from Lupin. That's how she, like, you know, that's one way she does jo a job. Uh, there have been instances where we see Fujiko hire other people, but she just hires people and in the end it betrays them as well. Because obviously if, if like, you know, like, if like, he, she keeps them till the end, they are going to like you know take a little bit of the portion of the of the money and obviously fujiko doesn't want that so yeah like i remember like that uh, like episode where fujiko was just like you know had like someone else working with her and <clears throat> you know like in in a motorbike that guy kind of jumped in when he was trying to go away and jigen kind of shot him and that's like an, an example like i'm sure like if jigen did not shoot him at that episode Fujiko would have probably just kicked him out or something in the middle of the road. She would have done something like that because she she does not want giving away money to anyone. Like everything's for her. <laughs> so that's like another way she does her job. She she does not hire anyone. And if she hires someone to work for her, by the end of it, she betrays that person. And like that's basically Fujiko's like, you know, way of operating. Like tell Rupan about something, wait for Rupan to do the job and then either betray him or take it for herself. <laughs> and yeah, that's what basically happened here. She she waited for Rupan to actually do the hard job, just like, you know, get everything. And when she was certain that, yeah, Zenigata is not following, nothing's happening. She like, you know, started her plan, just like, you know, punctured the, the, the car tire using the nails and <clears throat> was waiting with the disguise to take uh, you know, like it with her, and yeah, she won for that moment at least. And then, <laughs> then we suddenly hear that uh, Fujiko is like you know brought an airplane and is planning to get away from this country. <laughs> Lupin is like, nope, I'm going to get her, and like obviously she he contacts the original people and like you know tries to like you know kind of make manipulate them in doing the hard job for him that is capturing fujiko and he he planned to like he, he kind of employed the same uh you know method that fujiko employed with them where rupan did the hard job and fujiko kind of swooped in and took the like you know delicious parts and that's what rupan also tried to do here as well she contact he contacted those like the original owners or whatever the people who are smuggling them you know them they would do the hard job and he would come in, swoop in and get away with everything. <laughs> so yeah, that was what he was doing. And uh, Fujiko does get kind of captured in a way. And when, like, you know, like, it's use that thing to tickle Fujiko, take the briefcase and run away. But unfortunately, the thing that she, he was using, just a sec. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, the thing, um, the, the, the hand glider or whatever that was, that he was using was so slow in pickup that Fujiko just ran and just like you know grabbed on to, to them and it was overweight. So yeah, and Fujiko was like, ha, I, I won't be able to get away from it. Why would I let you guys get away from here? <laughs> like, like I don't like you know, this is the funny thing here. Like, you know what could have happened here? All of them, like, you know, Jigen, Fujiko, and Rupan, they all could have just, you know, like, just won the whole thing. And if they are, you know, they were, if they were decent enough, they would have just sat down and, like, you know, kind of, um, <clears throat> what do you call it? Like, uh, kind of uh, divided the portions equally, got enough money for, like, you know, a lot of, like, you know, for, for quite a while and like you know they would have been uh, millionaires probably at that time if they actually just stopped and, and like decent human beings just you know like just kind of um, <laughs> gave each other each other's portion and, and but no they wouldn't do that Rupan like you know Fujiko would obviously try to betray Rupan to grab everything for herself and Rupan would again try to get back at Fujiko and by the end of it they would lose everything so basically like this like this kind of shows us or gives us a moral you know <laughs> like, like never do stuff like this you're going to lose everything by the end of it if you do stuff like this you know and that's what they do all the time like you know Fujiko betrays Rupan like you know tries to get everything for herself sometimes she does apparently she is able to get everything for herself but most of the time she loses everything like 
nothing like that would have happened if they just sat down like decent human beings and like you know like separated and like you know everyone got their own portions like like you know separate the money the loot into three parts but no they wouldn't do that so yeah that's basically what happened here you know like everyone's like dragging each other down like <laughs> Fujiko just dragged Rupan and Jigen down because she doesn't want them to get away with the money, you know. And then, like, the whole, like, you know, shenanigans start, like, you know, the other, like, the owners, they start shooting at them. And, like, you know, like, um, they're, like, at, 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 a, at a very, like, you know, compromising situation and everything. Um, they're trying to blow up that house. And in comes Jigen suddenly from I don't know where <laughs> with that armored, you know, tank things and <clears throat> not jigen sorry zenigata oh, sorry uh in comes zenigata i don't know from where with the tanks and everything and um <laughs> no, they, those guys get captured and like they were kind of able to get away with that you know because uh like that was kind of like an interesting plan they kind of like you know rope weighed the whole house with them you know like zipped off with it but unfortunately, they did not have a proper grip on the suitcases. It just opened and just fell. Everything just fell off. <laughs> and at that moment, they like you know they were like, yeah, like all the money is gone. Like now, at least we have to just get out of this situation. Zenigata is just waiting for them. And here's another thing with Zenigata, which is like a big disadvantage, I have to say. Like she's he since he wants to capture Lupin. It would be very like you know anticlimactic if something happens to Rupan by in that process. So whenever like Rupan's in any danger or anything, Zenigata tries to save him. <laughs> Which Rupan takes advantage of and runs away. <laughs> so here a similar thing happened as well. Like you know, they, they were kind of going to like you know crash down. So Zenigata uses his body itself to just grab onto the zip line. But yeah, he just took advantage of it and just ran away with the money. Not money, sorry, ran away with it and uh, yeah Zenigata loses again nothing you can do about it and Rupan, Jigen and um, Fujiko runs away with the thing the hand glider or whatever and <laughs> they did find one little diamond but Rupan's like ah I'm the great Rupan you know this type of things ah, I don't need it throw it away just throws it away <laughs> And Fujiko was obviously like, you know, disappointed because you know, like if, like he, he, you know, he could have just gave it, gave it to Fujiko. Like she wanted that so much. Like why throw it away? Like if you don't want it for yourself, just give it to Fujiko. But <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, like and that was it. Like oof, my God, this episode. <laughs> Like that's what I'm saying, you know, like like by the end of it, they lost each and everything, all the money. So if they just like you know stopped and like you know like divided it amongst themselves, like decent human beings, they could have been rich by this time. But no, they are not decent human beings. That's the whole point of this. So yeah, that's why they always lose everything. So yeah, moral for everyone. Don't don't be greedy. <laughs> Don't be greedy. That's the, basically the moral. You'll, you're going to lose everything by the end if you are greedy. At least don't be greedy with your friends, you know? Like, be greedy, I guess. You can be greedy. But don't be greedy with your friends and amongst your friends. Those friends that actually, like, you know, have your back in, 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 the prob like, in, in problematic situations. Yeah. Be, be humble with them. Be humble with your friends. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, that was episode number... Um, uh 16 so yeah okay let's start episode number 17 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go <clears throat> All right.
<laughs> oh my god. This opening is kind of fun. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is about. Oh, what is this place? <clears throat> what is it? Some kind of casino or something? I think so. Is that Fujiko? Oh my god, it's Fujiko. <coughs> <coughs> this is a casino, isn't it? I don't believe you. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Wait, who's this? Oh, okay, okay. Oshikage Ginko? <laughs> Come on. Go him on. Go him on. Ah, but... <laughs> All right, I guess I'm sure Fujiko has some kind of plan here. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening, but they have a, I'm sure they're trying to trap them something. That's some conveniently placed sofas. I feel like, oh my god, there you go. I was just saying, this is a, some conveniently placed sofas. Rupan caught in a trap. Rupan. <laughs> Wait, she also captured Fujiko. I was, I was not expecting that. Um, what's happening? What? Um, what is that? <laughs> so what do you want with us? I'm sure she wants something with us. Okay. Oh no, a demonstration, great. <coughs> Gone, on your head will be left. Twenty four hours. That's very generous of you. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, she wants us to steal something. Be what? No. They always lose everything by the end, so... I'm surprised Fujiko also fell into the trap. Like she brought them here and then she also fell into the trap. <laughs> Goemon is like, yeah, I knew something like this is going to happen.
Great. Don't. All right. Oh no! Stop! No, don't go. Don't go. <laughs> wow. What? Yeah. Grand robbery. Ooh, what is that? Oh. oh okay okay <laughs> yeah but we don't have the time you know yeah <laughs> oh time is sticking <laughs> okay. Hmm. hmm. What? Ah. Uh. <laughs> ah. Uh. Still in the initial phase of planning. <clears throat> oh my god, that's loud. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously it'll have some traps. Oh, great. Wait, what the? Oh, okay, okay. It's a trap. Yeah, it's just a mouse. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Seven hours. Yeah, how are we going to get? Oh, what is that? <laughs> okay. Will that work? I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank <dang>. all right. Wow. Oh, what is that? Is that like smoke bomb or something? Slap. What is that? Slime? No. Oh, it okay. It must be some kind of yeah. 
sleeping Anastasia or something. Yep, there you go. <laughs> okay. Damn, that's a very potent chemical. Like everyone's asleep. <clears throat> All right, there's a signal. Six hours. <clears throat> One billion. <clears throat> wow, my God, that's quite oh no. Someone's coming. <clears throat> oh boy. Oh. Oh no. We need to. Yeah, we need to answer. Otherwise. Okay, yeah, we need to answer. Uh, come on, answer Rupan. <laughs> yeah, come on, Chief. And a little cold, you know. Yeah. Oh no, don't. Okay, okay, nice. All right. Oh, but we still need one more hour, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, there are two of them. They can just, okay. Yeah, they can they can grab like you know one billion in one hour. So <clears throat> ah, well, are you guys ready? Let's get out. Okay, they're ready. Oh no! Oh my god! Okay, we're here with the money. Okay. Okay, quick. Nice. Oh boy. Oh no, yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, she, she needs to. Oh my god. Oh my god, Zenigata's here. Oh no. How did he get. Oh, <laughs> how did he get informed? <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be losing gas? How is it still floating?
Okay, oh my god, it is losing gas. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh oh my, it just broke off. Oh no. <laughs> it throws the bottle. Okay, um This might actually help us out. <laughs> Ah. Oh no. Oh no. Where's the money? I think Jigen has the money. <laughs> oh my god. Weren't there supposed to be three bags? I feel like there's two bags now. Oh no, there you go, three bags. Oh my god, yo. Alright, yeah. Where's Fujiko? <coughs> Okay. <laughs> no one's there. <laughs> yeah. Forty five. Oh no. <laughs> How dare you talk? <laughs> okay, where did this hide it? Okay, there you go. And we, where's the money? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, we, the, the, the watch. Okay. All right, there you go. Is that going to is it going to blow up up or something? Oh great! Oh, they're going to take uh, her hostage. Yep. Okay. Oh my god, I hope the money is still there. It'll be kind of funny if the police are actually waiting here, you know? <laughs> they catch Ginkgo. Ah, uh, it's, it's in the... Yeah, there you go.
<laughs> yeah. Oh no, is, is what she tricking them? Oh no! Oh my god! She- Oh, this girl! <laughs> I was thinking, it, it kind of came into my head. Like, I was like, maybe she's tricking them. Like, she's working with her. Okay, I feel like she- he did something with the money. Um... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, the money is gone. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh wait, was that fake? Ah, oh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> Did he even check the money while taking it? why <laughs> oh my god okay that's the end oh my god that was a surprise in the end um i did think about it you know in the beginning i there was a part of me that was thinking i was like why did even fujiko bring them here when she herself got trapped into this whole situation you know there was a part of me that was telling me like why did like you know like usually it's actually fujiko bringing them into a trap but this time fujiko herself was trapped in it so I was thinking, why did she do that then, if she herself was in danger? And then in the end, and that, in that scene when, you know, like, Fujiko was like, oh, I need to go away, that's when it struck me. I'm like, okay, so it actually means that she was part of the whole plan. And she was just there as like a, you know, like, as like a fake, you know, like, you know, like, he was just, she was just there to kind of keep an ob observation on them or something like that. And she was part of the plan and uh, yeah it makes sense it makes so much sense because then why would she like you know bring them in in the first place where she herself gets trapped in it so yeah okay um it, like you know I, i'll be honest it, it did i almost at the, at the end i realized it not before that like it did not even strike me that fujiko might be actually just tricking them all along and she is in on this plan <clears throat> But yeah, okay, this episode here, um, we get to see like Ginko, um, Oshikage or something like that, that was her name, anyways, whatever her name was, um, Ginko, she is like, um, I'm guessing the owner of this, that place, that was like a little casino or something, I don't know what that was, but that nightclub or whatever, and <clears throat> she brought them in, and you know like fujiko was also kind of like you know in a trap now i do wonder why fujiko actually um you know like played into the whole thing you know like kind of acted out like all the time fujiko usually kind of like you know brings them in in a trap and just tells them that yeah i'm in on this plan and, and usually that's how it goes uh, I, I've never actually seen Fujiko tricking them like this before like where she acts she's acting as if she's you know she has fallen into the trap but she's actually the one who instigated the trap so I've not I've not seen Fujiko like this before but who knows maybe maybe that was like her way of actually keeping an eye on them if like you know they don't run away or something and like you know kind of uh, you know like <laughs> for more security of the plan so yeah but anyways um so yeah fujiko also gets kind of trapped and i do wonder what would have happened um if like you know the clock struck you know like because fujiko also had it on her 
had the 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 watch on her and i feel like that that watch was um you know a, a real one it was not a fake one so i do wonder what would have happened if it struck because i doubt fujiko would be like you know uh, would actually put on a time bomb on her wrist willingly so who knows like we still don't know the actual content of the plan what they plan to do like was fujiko like part of the plan from the beginning or was it something um you know like where the the girl the lady ginko she told him that yeah you if you are able to trap them you'll get a share was that it or were they like equal partners we don't know anything about it but it, it is kind of weird that fujiko also had the same time bomb in her hand and uh, um i do wonder if would have it it would have i'm sure it would have blown out uh, blown up uh, when like you know like the time came so who knows what fujiko would have done if they were unsuccessful in bringing the money in um yeah i don't know but anyways uh so yeah um <clears throat> so rupan comes up with a plan to actually rob the printing like you know the thing and you know gain money from there and i think that was like one of the best methods to get money quickly uh and <clears throat> it had like you know quite a few traps but they were able to get in somehow and kind of like you know like use that uh that chemical or whatever to f make all of them fall asleep got in started printing and <laughs> <laughs> was somehow able to trick them uh up until they got all the money printed out now so here's where rupan actually made the little change now now i'm sure he he knew that like you know something like this could is going to happen somehow you know like they're going to actually trick them into getting the money or something is going to happen i'm sure he he realized that so that's why he made a little adjustment i do wonder if he realized that fujiko was also the one who was tricking them i don't think he realized that because in the end we when we see like you know fujiko revealing everything rupan himself was very surprised at the same time like you know like he was like his face was just you know like wide open just flabbergasted just you know like so i think he also did not realize fujiko tricking was actually tricking them uh but still he made that like you know little adjustment in, in while printing i guess you know the adjustment with the the face on the money it was rupan's face so yeah that was funny and okay and so he like somehow was able to kind of stall for time for two or three hours and <laughs> was able to get away with the bunny but zenigata comes in i don't know from where he got that you know like uh the uh what do you call it from where he got the information that rupan was here like i do wonder like no one like you know like those those guys they were like uh, rupan was stalling those guys for time and those guys all also did not know that rupan was here so i wonder where zenigata got his information from Mm, i don't know maybe maybe like you no know, like who knows i like who knows how he gets his information about rupa like there's always like you know like zenigata always somehow is able to know where rupa is one way or the other so who knows but somehow some way or the other he was able to know that yeah rupa is here and just came in <laughs> with the cars and everything and that was like a funny little chase scene a weird one obviously because you know like they shot the balloon it started leaking gas and it still somehow was able to keep moving and moving and moving like you know like like <laughs> like that's like it moved for a long time even though it was like you know the gas was coming out so yeah that was obviously definitely weird a weird one but obviously like you know this is like an anime like you should not think about these type of things <laughs> oh boy and um, yeah so somehow able to get out of this situation um and trick zenigata again by jumping off in the middle of the journey and 
stash the money somewhere closer so that they can come and get it back so <clears throat> yeah the whole thing was successful ginkgo was like all right you got the money we heard it from the uh, you know news and everything um i'll give you enough time to get it back and he uh, you know she uh, just took away like you know like the, the watches and took fujiko as a hostage while Fujiko was just internally laughing, thinking that ha, I'm not a hostage, I'm actually part of the plan. So yeah, like obviously like Rupan did not um, realize that up until the end, because if Rupan realized that Fujiko was in on this whole, you know, like plan, um, I think he would have probably done something else. Like he also was strict in this whole thing. Like I was also strict. I did not I actually under like, you know, realize the same thing up until almost the end, you know, where <laughs> where they were saying like okay now let's like you know like uh, open fujiko's like you know give fujiko back to us we gave you the money back and i did like you know, even at that moment i wasn't like you know i didn't i wasn't able to catch on on the whole thing but then it suddenly struck me i was like wait a minute what would happen if fujiko was also part of in part of this plan and she has actually been tricking rupan all this time and it would make sense, you know, a lot of people would, a lot of things would actually fall into place if Fujiko was also in on this plan. Because she's the one who brought them in, in this whole thing. So her falling into the trap is weird if you think about it. So, like, everything just fell into place after that when Fujiko said that, oh, I'm going to just go grab my share, you know. <laughs> Everything just fall into f fell into place. Rupan was also very surprised, but you know, Rupan had his like you know uh, things like you know he had his precautions taken, and I I knew like I knew like he must have done something with the money because he wouldn't just like you know let everything go away so easily and just like you know like uh, just hand over money to someone. He wouldn't do that. He he's definitely going to play some tricks with it. Like I was wondering what he did and it kind of came come came out in the end like he did two things number one he planted the the bomb in in, in the car and number two um the money itself was fake so <laughs> so the car blew up you know like the, the, the all the money just started floating around and <coughs> <coughs> And just try to start at grabbing all the money and <clears throat> the actual weird thing here is they didn't even check the money when, when they were taking it you know like if it was actually a real money or fake money uh which was kind of like a, a, a like, you know a, a mistake that they did did that they should have been more vigilant they should have like checked the money when they were handing that money over they should have checked it but they did not do that <clears throat> probably because they didn't even think <clears throat> that Rupan would try to do something like that so yeah the whole like you know the car blasts off and <laughs> the money starts floating and then they start grabbing the money they're like ah oh, I got it I got it but it'll be kind of fun to see when they realize that yeah the money is actually fake <laughs> so yeah nobody wins in the end and uh, like I guess Rupan kind of won he had a great laugh by the end of it he and Jigen. In that way, you can say that Rupan won. <laughs> they had a good laugh at the expense of Ginkgo and Fujiko. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh boy. That was funny. That was a good episode. And, uh, oh yeah, and Goemon. <laughs> like, I loved how Goemon was like, ah, I didn't do, like, you know, like, didn't I tell you to not to get involved with these ladies? No, there you go. You reap what you sow. Like, ha, I'm, I'm, I'm free. I don't have anything to, like, you know, like, uh, worry about because I, I did not fall into the trap. And he was all laughing and everything because this is like the, uh, I think this is like the first time where uh, <laughs> Goemon also doesn't get roped into these shenanigans, and he's like a spectator and he's just having fun watching, like, you know, Rupan struggle. And he's like, ha ha, look at that. Like, didn't I tell you, didn't I tell you that, you know, don't get involved with these ladies, they're just going to drag you down. And you, you made fun of me at that time. You know, you, you and Jigen made fun of me. Look at you now. <laughs> like, who's having the last laugh? <laughs> that was G Goemon's attitude throughout this whole episode. And... 
<laughs> that was good. Oh boy, that was funny. Anyways, that was it. That was uh, <clears throat> this episode. This was episode number seventeen of Rupan the Third Part One. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know, and I'll check them out. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes of Rupan the Third Part One. Um, this is episode 17, so 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Like, so it'll take like three more weeks for part one to end, you know. And uh, I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do later after that. Like, I'm, I'll, I'll, like, you know, like, I'll uh, tell you guys to, um, <clears throat> like, every, every one of you who wants to recommend me some uh, episodes from season two and season three, will you can recommend it to me in the comment section. Not to the, in today's comment section, on, in the final day, in the final day when I'll do episode 22 and 23, you can recommend me and I'll just, <clears throat> you know, like react to only those. Like, you know, everyone can just recommend, like, you know, I'm, I'm going to limit it to two episodes. Otherwise, you know, like since season two and season three are so huge, it'll take a lot of time. So two episodes for from season two and two episodes from season three, I'm going to limit it to that. So like you know, each one of you will be able to recommend me four episodes um, from season uh, two and three. So that's like you know, not in this episode. Like you know, in in uh, in the comment section of episode number twenty two and twenty three, you can recommend me do that, and I'll only react to those. And then I'll, I'm going to start at the, like you know season four. So anyways, that's I'll talk about it later on. But for now, yeah, thank you guys for watching again. I'll see you guys next week with two more episodes. Until then, goodbye and. Have a nice day.